Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's Brian and Jim here with Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and finally, we are back with our Power Hour podcast. Took a little hiatus. Uh, as many of you know, I have a kid, and that shit keeps you busy. So at least I was still able to get out a whole bunch of videos, but yeah, I finally got a hold of Jim and said, all right, we need to get back on track with this shit. So Jim, are you happy to be back? Oh yeah, it's very happy. It's I know it's been at least a month since we uploaded a podcast to YouTube. It's been even longer since iTunes. And for anyone wondering about the whole iTunes thing, we do still plan on uploading there. But long story short, Master Webmaster Brian hasn't upgraded our uh, WordPress in I don't know a couple years. So there's a few critical updates, and apparently they can mess up the um, all the directories and our RSS feed points there. So. That's where the feed goes, that's where the podcast is hosted out of on iTunes, so can't update that, can't update the podcast. So we're working on it. Right, yes. Brian? And to correct Jim, because as per usual, he's goddamn wrong, uh, the Incorrect. site automatically forced an update that has now erased a lot of our shit, so I've been fighting with iPage to try to get all of our shit back. Um, so yeah, that's the fun I'm dealing with. This is what happened. So for those of you who are creating your own website, I never had a problem with iPage before, but now it's just a fucking mess. So I'm dealing with it. It will be back. It will definitely get our shit all uploaded on iTunes. It's just going to take some time, I think. Um, but yeah, other than that, we are happy to be back. As I, as I said, we've been uploading at least once per week. Uh, we've been throwing a few other bullshitty videos, like I'm doing the cod zombie challenge but we're always doing our reviews at least once a week and i guess we'll go ahead and say what are we doing for the month of october jim i'll let you get started and for those of you watching uh whether it's youtube or on twitch as you will see jim and i are doing friday the 13th um, right 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 yes yes game volume is too loud turn your game volume down ah well it's only on twitch hold on well, still, so people on Twitch can actually hear what we're talking about. Snarkcast hey, uh, is there. Jim, Jim, do me a favor. Shut your mouth. Just for a second. Right. I am trying to help. Hey, Jim, 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 Jim. Jim, shut your mouth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> all right. Game volume is being turned pretty much all the way down. All right. That should do it. Sorry about that, Snarkcast. And I can't read your question, so Jim will... After we each get done talking... I'm keeping up. Yeah. So, anyway... Uh, if you are watching this, yes, Jim and I are playing this. What the fucking fuck? Um, we're doing we're a basically, one -on -one. we're basically going against each other. We're not taking this serious. We're probably going to kill each other multiple times over. So. <laughs> Brian's probably going to kill me a lot faster than I kill him. Come on. Apply the settings. There we go. All right. We'll give a uh, Snarcast. Give me a heads up if that sounds a little bit better. So anyway, He's saying it sounds better. Perfect. So anyway, uh, Jim, do you want to give your update for what you're going to be doing in October? Because we will be splitting duties a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have some uh, busy times during the holiday season. So we figure it's just going to be a little bit easier on us to um, kind of do our own separate things. Not that it's no problems with the website or anything like that. So I'm going to be going through my ColecoVision collection. Uh, kind of like around the lines of what I did with the... 2600 the flashback too so i only own 15 games for it so i'll be spending a little bit more time with each game but i'll probably be doing you know five games per video something along those lines hey jim do you want to tell yeah. them the quick story of how that coleco came into your possession uh, i saw it <laughs> at a game store and i bought it <laughs> uh yeah but remember how i texted you literally the week before you bought it Yes, yes I do, <laughs> because you're like, hey, this place has a ColecoVision, what do you think about getting it? And I was like, eh, and then it kind of festered in my brain, as most things do, and so then I said, fuck it, and I went and got it. Yeah, Mr. Son of a Bitch goes, uh, you know, I don't really know if I want it, and I was willing to split it with him, because, you know, 100 bucks, Coleco, it, not a terrible deal, um... And then all of a sudden I just get a text from him, as I usually do, 
which was, look what I got. <laughs> and he picked it up. So I immediately just thought I'm going to punch him right in his penis for doing that. And yeah, that that's so that's what Jim's doing anyway. For me, yep. I'm sticking to the horror roots. And if you've been following us for a while, you do know we make some kind of attempt to go on Twitch as often as possible. Doesn't mean we do it a whole bunch, but um, I've done a lot of horror games. And I'll just leave it at this. I've noticed a certain trend with modern horror games that they all tend to be first person. So if you've watched our Twitch or seen our past live streams on YouTube... You might know some of the games I plan on actually going in-depth and reviewing, but I want to leave it a surprise for anyone who doesn't know exactly which titles I'm talking about. As far as the frequency, just like this month and the past couple months, at a minimum you're going to see one review per per week. If I can squeeze out a few more, I definitely will for you guys. But uh, yeah, so you're going to see a little bit more activity from Jim and I for the month of October. Yep, we're going to try and keep the content pumping out as much as we can. I also have like a little hardware review that I have ready to go, so it's a little five-minute jobber, but it'll be something to pass the time for you. Also, Jim, uh, completely, <laughs> we're such fucking noobs at doing this again. Uh, you didn't say what we're drinking tonight. Oh, shit, it has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. All right, so I actually have a small smorgasbord that I'm going to be going with. What, so what, what do you have I'm there? starting with... A smorgasbord? D- don't. Just don't, don't. I words. I do words. So, I'm going to be drinking first the Sierra Nevada Tropical Torpedo. Little tropical IPA action. Uh, no, there's no bit. There's nothing to read. <laughs> wait, Ooh, a second. wait a second. Who yes, gave that is. to you or who left it after a party? Uh, I don't remember. It's been in there for a while. It's so probably from say- like a random mix pack that I bought. Well, I was going to say, because I know you don't buy IPAs. You do not like IPAs. I bought the, um... <laughs> shit, I probably should be uh, paying attention to the game, too. Jim, I, I really don't think you got to take this that serious. Oh, I think I do, Bray. <laughs> but go ahead. Ah, shit balls. Uh... Oh, yeah, so I'm drinking this here via Tropical Ale. And also, I have a Victory Homegrown American Lager and a Coors Light. Hmm. Yeah, so tonight, I have some options. If you, if you were watching me tonight, then you know I've been drinking the Rolling Rock, and I'm doing the Sam Adams Harvest Hef, which is their Hefa Wisen for the year. It's actually really good. Uh, very spicy. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, okay. So right there, Jim's one ball tap. You know I forgot how that. to kill you without it. You need to do, to do a grab. It. So Jim... How do you do it? <laughs> what button? What is it? It's goddamn LT. You've played this game enough to know. God damn it, Jim. <laughs> I haven't Already. been chasing in ages. This is this is classic, Jim. Right, don't yell at me. Just just like back in uh, college, none of us played goddamn Halo. He's like, "Hey guys, you want to play this uh, play this game?" And what would he do? <laughs> He'd be that dirty son of a bitch who would always go to the rocket launcher, always get the force field, and make himself invisible. Keep popping up. None of us knew where that. I shit was going to say, "Don't after, forget cloak." After playing enough, we finally got onto it. But just the dirtiest son of a bitch. Wouldn't tell anybody anything. So for him to just do the cheapest kill, I can't say I'm shocked. But God damn it, Jim. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, anyway, um, the other thing we'll just mention. So we, obviously we're both playing a game right now. But we're going to try and keep the podcast a little more casual. You know, Jim and I... We're not regimented. We don't script shit. If you listen to any of our reviews, trust us, we've oh, never yeah. scripted a single word. We might do a few additional takes when Jim fucks up saying stuff, which happens a lot. I do not. <laughs> really, never. Jim? Do you want me to do a reel? Never. Never not once. Do you want Do you want a reel? Actually, but that anyway, might be a pretty good reel. 
for the podcast, we're like, you know what? Why don't we keep it casual just like we do the reviews? We're still going to have our topics, but we tried to force doing beer topic and then making sure we hit enough game topics and this and that. We're still going to try to do some of those segments like which is better, uh, you know, all the other ones, but it's just going to be a little more casual. That's all. So, Jim, I'm going to let you go ahead and get started. You know, I think right now the most obvious thing, I friggin' texted you this morning. I was one of those idiots who was like, let me call around, see if any Super NES classics are available. And that you were. Probably three or four hours after that, they were out. Um, yeah, everywhere Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, all sold out. So. Did you have any interest whatsoever in even looking for that? Fleeting, but honestly, not nearly enough to really care. Yeah, I mean... Like, I just... uh, I mean, for one, I already own most of the games, so... uh, Damn it, come on. So, it's not like I needed to play any of the classics. Like, I, I have Earthbound. That's probably a big reason a lot of people are buying it. So... Like, when it comes to that, it doesn't mean that much to me. And, like I've said many times before, I don't have that much nostalgia for the Super NES. I like the console, but I'm not going to, you know, go out of my way to buy everything Super NES related. Yeah. No. I mean, and now that you've finally gotten yourself some pretty good Super NES games, you basically have some of the best and you know you could just go ahead and emulate so yeah i i get it you're not right. really a nostalgia guy for me what was funny is it has every game on the system and jim and i actually happen to talk about games we'd want it hit every game that i really loved as a kid from super nes so it's something i would get but i was not willing to like go crazy out of my way looking for it so yeah it is what it is um what I did find interesting is when I called GameStop and they said, uh, yeah, we're out of that, but if you want to go ahead and reserve the Sega Genesis flashback or Classic Edition <laughs> or Atari Classic Edition, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't even know <laughs> the, uh, what the those- games bullshitters. I, I guess they're that's the what games meant. like clone consoles. But he was saying, like, do you want to reserve? Which is like. Okay, I if it was the at game things, I would have thought he they have a ton of them. So maybe it's something different. Yeah. Oh, I see you dirty motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Where the fuck is you? Hello. Ah! No! <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, say oh, goodbye wrong to your head. Wrong door. <laughs> that was a pretty sweet uh, call, Jim. Would you say that was too sweet? <laughs> <sighs> damn, damn, damn. That's all right. Now, don't you ever hack me again, you dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, no promises. No, I mean... Um, it is interesting, the Twitter reactions. Have you felt like, uh, we're not Oh, shocked Jesus Christ, at... don't get me started on fucking Twitter. Oh, well, no, it's Super just... NES Mini today. But isn't it fascinating? What What's more crazy? The atypical, what you would have expected, like, everyone, like, here's my picture of me with my Super NES Classic. Uh, yeah, everyone. Love this thing. Or the amount of people are like, oh, my God, I'm so tired of hearing about it. And especially when it's coming from the gaming community, it's like, well, this is the kind of hottest thing out right now, so I get it, because I don't like hearing about it, but what else would you expect, you know? Right, you mean a certain YouTuber's nearly 20 minute long video that's, you know, I get it? Oh no, uh, who, wait, is it the one we talk about all the time? Wait, why are we even being coy? Is it fucking Pat? Yes, it's Pat. Okay, no, I didn't watch it. I assumed he would do something and somehow justify how the NES was better. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. It was just, what do you call it? Like, him, like, doing a faux unboxing of it and basically for 20 minutes in parroting all, every YouTube page that's doing a fucking unboxing of it right now, which is 
every goddamn channel. Every every yeah, that's yeah, that's the number one. Yeah. It's the same Even, thing like when Sonic Mania came out because everyone it's like, "Oh, here's my statue." Like, I get it. Everyone has the same fucking statue. Here's the thing about unboxing videos. And you do the hardware videos and I can appreciate, you know, how you do it. I don't I do it as part of a larger thing. Yeah, but I don't give two flying fucks about uh, I want to see it when it's set up. I don't care like people are like, "Well, here's the instruction manual and here's this here's here's the uh here's the power cord." Oh, the wire's a little short. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, get to the shit I want to see. Like, I really don't care about that stuff. I get I get it. I guess some people do, and maybe I'm just... I don't know. I'm not a collector in that terms, but god damn. Tell me you're not bored to tears by some of those videos. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, f- unboxing videos don't do it for me at all. Like, some... There are some channels that were strictly unboxings. And I'm... Um, no <laughs> i have no interest in any of that stuff i mean i if it's part of a larger kind of thing then yeah cool or maybe if it's some really ultra rare old system like there's um a youtuber called games Ready one who talks about basically every goddamn system that's almost ever been made so he'll include an unboxing as part of his larger scale video but that just won't be the whole video itself so that that's fine. Go nuts with that. I, I like I like seeing that as part of a video, but people who are like, oh, I'm going to take this out of a box, and it's out. <laughs> Why? I don't, what are you I don't get it. But so you never really answered. What, what, what drives you a little more crazy? The typical, what you would expect, everyone's doing the same video, or the amount of people that seem to be so anti this that they're like kind of silent. No, not silently. They're <laughs> protesting it. Actually, uh, <laughs> I've seen. I'm as we know. I'm more the Twitter guy, so yes, you I've are. seen way too much of this on both sides. That's why I'm asking you. I don't really have an opinion either way. Uh you know what it is? It's okay. I guess the more annoying thing, just because it's more prevalent, is just the people showing off their thing, being like, "Oh, hey, I got it." Okay, cool. Like, you know, I know a lot of people who got it. They all showed theirs off. Fine, whatever. They're excited for it. But the people who are, like, anti it and uh, uh, Raspberry Pi, like, they are so cunty about it. Like, there's a uh, there's a website called thehardtimes.net, which is basically, um, it's another fake, like, parody article website, kind of like The Onion. Mm-hmm. And it started mainly for, like, rock bands and shit like that, but they're venturing in other fields. So, they had an article up today that was called, uh, along the lines of, the Super NES Mini sucks because you could just get a Raspberry Pi. And that's, if you look at the thumbnail in the, uh, like, the hyperlink for it, that's where the article did ends. You, did you But the full title that? is, yes. Yeah, but I But the full I title of that. it is, so you can get the Super NES Mini. And not, or get a retro pie, and then dot dot dot, and not shut the fuck up about it. Yeah. yeah. So it was basically taking a giant poop on all the people who, you know, it's the um actually kind of people, the ones who yeah. are like, it, it's the same people who every video for Super Mario Two is like, uh, actually, Doki Doki Panic is just uh, Mario Two's Doki Doki Panic. It's like, oh really? Yeah. No, I mean, I hear that. It's just... I don't know. It, obviously, we knew reactions on both sides would get ridiculous. But, I don't know, if we were expecting them to be quite as ridiculous. But just, like, the... Oh, the amount of people who, like... Just... Not so much gave me shit, but, like, either A, they definitely did not open the article, and B, when they did, they're just like, Oh, so just, you know... One guy wrote, Pro-consumer sad attire. You know, is his um, nice little play on words for satire. It's like, come on, dude, really? Yeah, yeah, I get that, but... So yeah. I think that side definitely, like... It's along the lines of the PC Master Race people. I mean, you have a computer. Good. It's just... I get it. I understand. You're not adding anything new. You you don't have a hot take. Like, shut yeah. your goddamn mouth. I mean, I can't say I'm shocked. Oh, no! Um, but... Yay! 
I don't know. I, I'm not shocked about it. I'm just. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good death. I guess is that going to be what everyone does from now on? You're just going to have. I, I feel like more than ever now with so many gaming YouTubers, so many gamer Twitters, gaming Twitter people. Like, is that? It's just like, is it going to be a hard stance, almost like goddamn politics at this point? Like, God forbid, people are just like, ah, who the fuck cares? But like, I feel like if you don't take a stance, it's kind of like then you're. You, you'll get accused by either side, like, oh, you don't like it, or, oh, you're not against it. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's the internet. Like, you can't have civil discourse anymore, because everyone's got a voice, and you can voice your opinion. Everyone's got to be a one-upper, too. That's the goddamn problem. Mm-hmm. Like, it can't be like, oh, let's hear the side. It's no, I'm right, and you're a faggot cuck. Like, that's basically what it turns into. Yeah. That's every argument. That's how everything, that's every rabbit hole that we jump into. And it's kind of oh, stupid, actually, Todd, especially to do saying. that about frigging gaming. Like, oh yeah, I don't know. I just why why take something so goddamn serious? If you just don't take any hobby that serious, because it's why? What do you get out of it then? Like, if you identify yourself by your hobby, like, oh, God, like don't I don't tell people I'm a gamer. <laughs> what people do do that? No, no, I know. I'm just it just it just cracks me up. But, I yeah, people, I mean, you're right. People like taking that hard stance and, you know, it's interesting. We got a comment today and, and I kind of liked it because it hit on one of the things I thought about when we first started this is you and I definitely don't agree on everything. Uh, you know, we make the videos and, yeah, we might play up a little bit some of, you know, I call you a Genesis fanboy, but, you know, you're at least, you'll be fair enough with stuff, and I'll give some games right. harder times than I need to, but at the end of the day, we're treating it much more like a schoolyard argument, like, Super NES is better because of this, but, like, we're keeping it fair and in perspective, you know, we're not going to get so up in arms that, like, you know, we're pissed beyond belief that... You don't agree with me. We don't agree all the times, and, you know, we just give our opinions of why, and it is what it is. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, maybe because we know each other in real life, it makes it a little easier. And I'm sure that if we were talking to other people that, you know, we're friendly with and that we know, it would be along the same lines. But just, oh God, random people on the internet are just the worst. And actually, uh, so, to catch up on the chat... Uh, Snarkast was saying how everyone's talking about the SNES Mini and he's just sitting here playing Cuphead and it's turning him into the AG- AVGN basically with how hard it is. And I'm yeah. waiting on mine to install because my Xbox is being a pain in my dick right now. Well, Jim, I keep telling you, you gotta get that, that good internet, not that line anymore. I got di- the line. <laughs> I mean, come on. Get with it. Bry, 56k is still optimal. <laughs> Jim, get with the team. And yeah, actually, uh, Travis just showed up, too. What up, guys? Thank you for coming here. Um, yeah. Eh. Apparently, people are already saying Cuphead's one of the best. Oh, what the f... Uh, I mean, nothing. Huh. Is Chamber Wambers in here? Well, thank you for giving away your position. Now, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so what, what would it take for you to actually want to buy that? To what? The Super NES Mini? Yeah. Um, honestly couldn't tell you. I really, I'm pretty modest what I'm saying. Like I have only maybe the slightest of fleeting, uh, interest in it. Yeah. Like, I, there's no game that's going to make me want to get it. There, Unless I saw it for, like, I don't know, 20 bucks. If I found some kind of, like, crazy deal on it, then I'd probably do it. Yeah. Outside of that, yeah. Oh, Jesus, God! <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, that just scared the shit out of me. Oh, no! Woo! Did you have a one knife? One bitch run! Nah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, fuck! God damn it, no! Ah, oh, not cost. this time. Ah, uh, too easy. <laughs> yeah, Travis is saying accessibility is the best part of the mini, but meh. And I kind of agree with that. Like, 
there's I guess when it comes to retro gaming for me, like I like the feel and the experience of having a console, hearing the cartridge go into the slot, you know, even so much as having the problems of trying to get a game to work sometimes and blowing on it or using the uh, the alcohol, shit like that. It's a whole experience to it besides using the actual hardware and controllers and how it's meant to be. So I think, I don't know, I like emulation, I have nothing against it, I use it a lot, but it's still never quite as fun, I guess I'd say, as, you know, using the actual shit, so... Well, it's interesting. Some you just thing, said. I don't need it. I, I don't see. That's the one thing, and that's obviously the general problem with nostalgia. One, some of the things you just said, you're like, I like when you have to blow or blow on the games or or clean it. And let's face it, when we were kids, you never liked that shit. That was the shit that you're like, I can't fucking wait till they fix this. Just like me and you, you know, we always say we love FMVs, but we fucking hate it. PlayStation loading times. And there would be all these things that, you know, when you're going through it, you say how much you hate it. And like I already said, that's part of nostalgia. You're going to move past it, and then you're going to remember a time that was better in your life, and you're going to say, oh, man, I just don't want to relive it. Like, that's going to make you relive that time when, you know, fair, shit was si fair. simpler. But, I mean, nobody likes fucking having to clean there. If I put a game in and I have to do anything with it, I'm pissed. So I don't <laughs> buy that bullshit that you like having to, you know, clean the pins with alcohol. Like, yeah, it's like some people might look at it like re you know, fixing an NES, like restoring an old car. Like you take pride in the fact that you're making it, keeping it running. But yeah, nah. I mean, that's a maybe that's technology. a lot of what it is. Like maybe that's what a lot of it is too. Because at this point, there's so much retro shit, and let's face it, not everyone was very good with their shit. So. Maybe that feeling of bringing something back to life kind of gives me a weird little sense of accomplishment. Yeah. But yeah, it is a pain in the balls. I guess I shouldn't say that I enjoy it as much as... I guess that adds to the overall experience by actually making it work somehow. Against all odds. Thing, and you know, that's one of the things I think me and you... I mean, I know for me, definitely. I was really trying to press when coming up with the idea for me and you doing this site is... I respect reviewers and I respect online people, but... You know, can we be honest that, yes, like, we love our old games, but, you know, you compare them to a new game, let's a little be, a little be honest. I mean, I always say this to you, you know, Portal is an amazing game, but I always bust your balls right. and say, what's better, Portal or Skyrim? That's a no-brainer, but, you, you know, you're like, well, they're different games. Like, you'll start to try to make an excuse, and it's like... You know, they can both exist, and they can both be great, but at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, you know which one's better. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Skyrim is the more full game, it's the bigger game. But, Brian, they are different games, though. You can't they just are. discredit that. Yeah, but it's like, you can. <laughs> I mean, Wait, I don't know. That, I, data, I, I, that Data East machine had so much potential was crap, apparently. What Data East machine? I didn't even hear about this. Oh, yeah, that was the one I was talking about in the last podcast. I saw it in fucking Staples of all places. Um, it has a ton of old Oh, you did games. talk about this. That's yeah. right. I was, like I said, I legit was going to pick it up, and it was a handheld thing, so it was kind of more, when you talk about accessible, that's accessible to me. For me, I mean, you know my gaming setup. For those of you who watch the videos, you know, where my games are yeah, it's is fucking where dusty. my computer is. Dusty. Did you just hear your... You're definitely getting a punch to the penis for saying that. What the hell? Don't ever say Dusty again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Dusty. You and your goddamn lazy-eyed penis. <laughs> lazy-eyed penis. I don't even know how to respond to that one. <laughs> you know, like when you get drunk and you get the lazy eye going... Yes, I'm very aware of the lazy eye, Brian. It's something <laughs> I've dealt with my whole life. I mean, well, your penis kind of like lazy eye too. Just saying. <laughs> what is it? Just look. It looks in a different direction than where it's supposed to be looking. I mean, is that what you're saying? I mean, I mean, it kind of gets a little looks confused like, sometimes. It looks like a, an androgynous person with a lazy eye. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> God, damn it, Jim! I can't I wait no to see comment. your face. I don't know how I have an androgynous penis, but all right. <laughs> it just does, you know. What's it going for? We well, don't you know. know. Well, you know, it's a dick that kind of looks like a vagina. You know, it, it could be either. Or. Hey, your words, not mine. Yeah. Uh huh. 
I'm glad I had to spell it out. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Jim! But anyway, no. So at the end of the day, I, like, there's just room in, in the world for every type of game and every console you want and love, but it's, when it comes down to it, like, why are we still trying to say certain older games are better than newer ones? Like, you know, newer Mario's should be and are better than older ones. It's kind of the way it goes. Yep. It builds towards a better... Yep. I'm, I'm saying, I don't give a shit. I don't even play <laughs> the old ones. Or or the new ones, I should say. You know, I have way more experience with the old ones. I have I don't have a Wii. I don't have a Wii U. But just on footage and what I've seen and what you can do, yeah, I imagine in theory they should be better than the original games. Not saying that doesn't make the old games bad. I don't know. Uh, you just know how I am with... People who overuse nostalgia to glamorize things of the past. Yeah, no, I know how you are with that. And there is definitely a lot of glamorization that goes on. Like, there's a ton of old games that don't hold up. Like, we were talking before we started this. Like, I'm right now I'm playing through Super Metroid. And I love it, but it's also a pain in the dick. But I'll play that way more than I'd ever even touched the original Metroid. That game can go fuck itself. Yeah. I don't know. I, uh... That that should yeah break just, that door. Yeah. That shit can be annoying, but anyway. So yeah, I think we talked about the Super NES Classic Edition. I honestly, I will still, if somehow I could find it, and it stays its original price, I'll be willing to do it. Like get it, but if it if it hops anymore, nah, I'm good. Yeah. So what? <laughs> so, All right, Hibiki just said lately I hate old games because fuck Dinosaur Peak. He's yeah. pointing through that on his latest at Hibiki TMD, part of Team Laser Mouse. You guys should go check him out. But he's been playing through Dinosaur Peak lately. And he is saying it's all in the consumer. An older gamer may prefer simpler 2600 games because it's, you know, simpler, it's more direct and to the point than, say, Skyrim. Oh, sure. And, and obviously, that goes without saying that it's all objective, subjective, whatever. But. You know, anyone that, that, like, for me, I've started by playing NES games. Uh, you know, I'm now obviously playing much more modern games. I just recognize that, you know, okay, gaming is better now than it was before, in my opinion. But, you know, when me and Jim do our top 20s, you'll see I still get put a lot of retro games in there. So, yeah, it's all a matter of As perspective. As you should. As you should shut up. You should stop wasting your money on goddamn terrible games and systems and penises. Hey, <laughs> you may call my games terrible, but don't you talk about my penises like that. God fucking damn it. <laughs> did you get trapped there, uh, Jim? Yeah, I got a little trapped. And the bitch <laughs> of it is, I did. I heard you put it down, but I was like, oh, I don't know where the fuck it is. Yeah, sucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, alright. Give us, give me, give Daddy another topic. Alright, give me one second. Alright, what the hell did Travis write there? Speaking of Skyrim, did you talk about the Bethesda microtransaction BS that's going on? It's a good topic. Which one? Uh, I feel like that was one of the ones we talked about before. Is it... Yeah, which one? Let us know, because I don't remember. Let me restart the thing. God damn it, I should have looked at the topic before I did that. Uh, do you want to talk about Fractured But Whole? That's kind of old news at this point. Yeah, uh, I read briefly, so <laughs> you go ahead and introduce that topic. Because if what you right. wrote is real, that's ridiculous. Oh, it is real. It's, uh, long story short, in the Fractured But Whole, you're, the difficulty of the game can change depending on the race of the character that you make. So... If you make your character, say, a black guy, it's going to be a lot harder for you and your interactions with people are going to be different. That's... So apparently the game, the status of the game, and I'm not going to say your privilege or whatever, but it is kind of an interesting little bit of social commentary. Even though there was some fucking website that's like, oh, South Park, once again, you know, pussyfooting around the issues. Like, God but, damn it, what? really, people? They, nobody, I mean... Nobody hits nails on the head. You know, they exaggerate, they do this. They touch on every issue, ever. 
So, yeah, but, well, but besides that, talking about there. talking about the actual that if they really do that, what I'm going to be interested to see is, uh, man, how hard are people going to come after them for that? Like not getting the joke of it, because you know it's going to go over so many people's heads. Yeah, it's going to go over too many heads. Some people are going to take it way too seriously. Oh, for sure. So it's like... Oh. What? Oh, no. Uh, Travis is saying that they're charging for different difficulty levels or something like that in Skyrim. And he's saying, are Matt and Trey the Untouchables? And... I don't know if I'd say Untouchables, because the last couple seasons have been a little meh, but... I would say that I'm on their side more than I'm not. I'll put it that way. Wait, who's the Untouchables? Just saying in general, like, the Untouchables. I guess talking about, like, the movie or oh. maybe in the sense that, you know, no matter what they do, they can do no wrong almost. Where the fuck yeah. did you go? God damn it. I don't know. where. Did You're going to escape, but I'm going to have a stroke. <laughs> Jim, I don't know. where. That's where what's going to goddamn happen here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, um, but yeah, no, go ahead. What, what's another topic? Uh, la, 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 la. <coughs> Stop it. All right. Um, oh, here's one. Did you see the one I put in about uh, the beer that's being made with vaginal yeast? <laughs> yes. And That's the only beer topic I was able to find. But something about it just spoke out to me and said, you should talk about this. That is... It goes without saying that's beyond ridiculous. Um, but at the same time, I'm not shocked. And I don't know if that's sad. But, um, huh, vaginal yeast to make beer. I mean, my first question is, who's vaginal yeast? You know, like, uh, you know are, are we talking about street No, that's actually a good question. Or, you know, we talk about... That's actually a very good question. Are we talking about Tom Brady's wife? I mean, wh- wh- who are we talking? You know, that that that's a question you got to ask right there. But aside from that, yeah, that, <laughs> the, the quality of the yeast. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, w- <laughs> here's a better question, Jim. Would you ever try it? Um, if it was given to you for free, you know. All right. Let, let, oh let's, yeah, let's, if it was given for me for free, I I think that would be a very easy. A good video for the site, too. I mean, I guess I'd have to do it for science at the very least. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Jim and I, we discussed this one very, I mean, in the briefest of briefs. And just said, yeah, if we could get our hands on that, we'd the, probably try it. Yeah, I would give it a shot. I would drink the pussy beer. I mean, me and you talked. There's some fucking disgusting things about beer. And, uh, you know, a yeast, by the time it gets boiled away, it's not like it's going to have any germs. It's just really the stigma and the idea of what it's going through. So <laughs> the the fact that it's coming from a dirty snatch, possibly that. <laughs> but I mean, we've talked about Dogfish Head. They got you know that one beer where they literally chew corn in their mouth and spit into it because that's the way the friggin' like Mayans or Aztecs did it. So it's like, well, we Barf. must, you know, we got to do it the right way. How the fuck did I lose you this badly? God damn it! Oh uh, God! This is this is rage inducing. <laughs> Cause you touch yourself at night. Yeah, you know what? I might need to do some anger of that. If if you escape <laughs> any of these games, I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, if I escape, Jim, that's gonna be bad for you. But yeah, I mean, like it. I just it's something that's so ridiculous, and you know, it's someone who's like, I'm making a statement. Like, all right, good for you, but. Bleh. <laughs> Just hearing about it sounds disgusting, but yep, give me a glass. I'll I'll drink it down. <laughs> you son of a bitch. So in your limited time, you know, me and you have been fucking balls busy. Ha- what games have you been managing to play? Because for me, I can tell you right now, I dump a lot of time into to just playing this shit. Yeah, I know. This is like your. This has been your go-to since it came out, basically. I mean, I still. I've actually gotten about thirteen new people added to my friends list just because of this game, 
and you know, <laughs> not trying, but like you know, you end up playing with people and it's fun. And then you know, you talk to them for a little bit, and it's like, okay, like you gonna know, play again tomorrow? Yeah, sure. And you know, I can honestly say no other modern game has had me, you know, meeting people, actually interacting with people. people. Yeah. I will say, weirdly enough, this has one of the like friendliest online communities I've ever seen. Yeah. It's crazy. Now, every so often, you do get that dick muncher that just like, ah, okay, I'm leaving you guys. And you're like, what? what? And then you're fucked. <laughs> but for the most part, yeah, it's very, very chill. You know, the, the community is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I That's something I really appreciate about this game. Uh, and other than that, you know, obviously, I've been doing the Call of Duty challenges. But how about you, Jim? Like, have you even had a chance to play anything? Uh, yeah, I've been making time and sacrificing some sleep lately just to actually be able to play shit. So, I've been, like I mentioned a little earlier, I've been playing through, um, Super Metroid, finally, for the first time. And, yeah, yeah I was, it's kind of going through the thing that always happens with Metroid games where I'm kind of cruising along, and this one especially, like, you can get pretty far before you get to points where it's just, God damn it, what the fuck do I do? So you yeah. just have to, you have to just shoot every square inch of the game. You have to bomb everything you can. Like you have to just come up with bullshit out of your ass because there's some puzzles in it that there's no hints. There's not even the little things of what weapon to use. It's just you have to almost get lucky to stumble upon it. So yeah, that aside, I mean, I'm at the tail end of the game now, and I'm just I have to get to some other shit. So um, I'm doing a walkthrough now at this point, but. Yeah, fun game. Uh, now, besides what that, would just you? Stick... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Now go on. No, 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 no. No, I was go gonna ahead. say. So, you know, you and I have talked. You know, playing like the old, like original Legend of Zelda and, and some shit. Like, there's some puzzles that, like, you know, obviously those games were just built for Nintendo power. Like, you know, you just you play them and you're gonna get stuck. So you either need to talk to other people who are playing, or you have Nintendo power. Obviously, we have the internet, so, like, you know, have you gotten to a point yet where you're like, okay, fuck this, I just need to figure out where I need to go, and you just look online. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly the point I'm at right now. Now, do you ever get a feeling of, like, oh, kind of, I shouldn't be doing this? Like, you almost feel guilty for doing it? I would have felt a lot more, I guess, you know, proud of myself if I just figured it out, but you know what, I'm... Um... I'm a busy man. I have too much shit going on. I just need to get the fucking... Uh, you son of a bitch. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. And, like, no, I don't feel bad at all. Yeah. And I kind of feel like, like to your point, you said you're busy, and that's true. You are busy. So it's And like... besides, like, you know, having to come up with time to make uh, shit for the website... Like, if I'm ever going to get anything done, especially for this Coleco month I'm going to do, like, I need to just, uh, I need to just finish this thing off and get the videos done and then start playing something else in the meantime. Yeah. No, I hear you. But, uh, yeah, that outside story. of that, a bunch of my, uh, outside of that, a bunch of my random Genesis, uh, pickups. So I've been playing some, like, Ranger X and Cheeky Cheeky Boys and... Um. So, oh God! God you. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. Yeah. Bash that wall. <laughs> so what the hell are cheeky cheeky boys? Um, it's a port of the arcade game from Capcom and. Basically, you play as, like, one of two, like, princes who are trying to save the area from, like, dragon or some shit like that. And it's like a side-scrolling beat-em-up, kind of, I guess I'd say almost more in the vein of Golden Axe. But it's like yeah. a hack and slash, but, you like, one guy's better with swords, one guy's better with magic. Um, and basically going through, like, these really bright, colorful levels. It's actually a request from uh, Hibiki, so I'm trying to... <laughs> Eventually be able to get through it, so I can let you borrow it. Hmm. Interesting. Because we got to give... He was good enough to give us a suggestion like that. Uh, he did Universal Soldier and Genesis for me, so... I have to pay back in kind. Interesting. Motherfucker. 
And <laughs> what else? What other games have I been playing? Ah, just just toying with my dick here. So what else? Uh, hold on one second. I'm trying to kill trying to kill some bitch. Ah, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to do what now? Uh, two minutes remain. You fuck. <laughs> Swear to fucking Christ. <laughs> die, 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 die! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking god damn it. Swear to Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on, dude. I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Get her, kill her, kill the bitch. No! What? Bri, I can't hear you. God damn it, kill the bitch. Kill the bitch. Finally. Christ. Yo, can you hear me? Oh, hold my on. fucking I think batteries my connection... died. Oh, is that what happened? Oh my god! Oh great, dude. I can't even feel good about it. I can't yeah, even feel good can't. about it. You can't. So okay, so we just count god. that one as I I lived because god clearly, damn it, Jim would have never gotten me if my fucking ba at the worst moment it fucking died. <laughs> Jim, how does it feel? That's now? really the story. Escaped. Shut up. Shut your goddamn so, so, so for everyone watching, you know, I, I bust Jim's balls, and it's no shock, but so do all of our friends, and Jim falls into these goddamn situations like this, like, we have many games we've played, and when Jim wins, as he just alluded to, he'll be like, I can't even feel good about this, like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I really can't uh, either. Oh, God, that's painful. <laughs> well, maybe you'll be doing it. Maybe you'll. <laughs> Snarkass says, "Press F to pay respects." <laughs> yeah, so... son of a bitch. I mean, oh, Jim, all right. Can... So, go ahead. I, no, I, I'm just no. I'm, I'm moving on from this. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Next topic. You can go ahead and start. All right. <laughs> all right. Here's a here's a quick one um kind of i guess along the lines of like the future of gaming and like i guess distribution uh with the release of ios 11 uh that means that flappy bird the hit craze the ridiculously popular game until the guy got sick of it and took it down of 2013 is finally dead apparently it runs at 32 hertz and ios 11 is only 64 hertz so uh -oh. outside of a phone that will never update god damn it that game is now dead and gone savage. What that finally Who time burp? Fucking cares. Goddamn Flappy Bird. If I was so tired of hearing about that fucking game when it first came out, if people are really upset, the fuck cares? Like, there's gonna be an upgraded version. Goddamn, let it go. Well, there isn't because the guy stopped. You no, know, no, I'm it saying because he kept like abuse. there's exact replicas. Like, yeah, it's not the official oh, yeah. Flappy Bird. But it's the same exact game. It's just as hard. It's just as stupid. You fucking move on. Who cares? <laughs> like, I, I, I guess I, the main thing to take from it is the fact that, you know, with digital distribution, a game can just eventually go away like that. It's something we've kind of talked yeah, about well, before. Yeah, well, but with but... your mobile games, I mean, is anybody, like, actually shocked about that? Like, is anyone like, I can't believe I'm losing... Yeah, that's what happens. Jim, yeah, you. I'm just saying, like, there's a thing in the future where, you know, there will be times where games are just dead and gone. And it could be a game that you really like. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> hey, Jim, where you going? Going somewhere exotic? <laughs> going somewhere exotic, he says. <laughs> you know, like, catch me if you can. It's a movie. Oh, God, fucking... <laughs> Hey Jim, why didn't you catch me this early? 
<laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> oh, Where are you Jesus. going? <sighs> fucking. Fucking bitch badger. <laughs> Swear to God, this is pathetic. <laughs> Oh, I'm too tired. Oh. I'm tired. <laughs> no, break oh. free. Die! Ah, I almost <laughs> broke. <free. laughs> oh Jesus, J Jim, is that a new record? <laughs> Jim, are you calling me record breaker Quinn for you know for this game? <sighs> Monarchs fan saying I could outrun this guy. <laughs> oh, God <laughs> fucking damn it. That's uh, God damn embarrassing. Can we play something else? <laughs> no! I'm sharpening your skills for when you actually play with me. Mm. How do you think I feel? I gotta deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too easy. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, no. Flappy Bird, get the fuck out of here. It's... The... Your point was the only interesting thing about this. Uh, many mobile games lose their licenses or, you know, the, up, the hardware gets upgraded. I'd have to assume, and I'm almost positive, you can still, like, go back online and find the uh, correct software and, like, basically set your phone to that if you have an old device. Like, I still have my old original iPhones, so I could always go back have not updated them and played on there if I really wanted to. Oh, God. You, you, God damn you, Todd. He said, just get good, right, Dean Takahashi? Son of a <laughs> bitch. Hey, Jim, get good. Yes, I know I gotta goddamn get good. But, uh... But... Yeah. I don't know. I... What do you think about that? I mean, are you pretty much on in line with me? Yeah, I mean, like, the game itself, I could care less. It's just more of a thing of, you know, thinking down the line, even outside of mobile, what crazy popular online-only game, digital-only game, are we going to lose the time because of a developer or a publisher or a creator or just not being supported in any way whatsoever anymore? I don't know, it's yeah. kind of a thing that... It, it, it's, I mean, Flappy Bird, who really cares, but... Uh. In the future, what are we going to do when a lot of our titles... Like, right now, I can go to my wall of useless, old, outdated plastic, and I can play a game from 30, 40 years ago with, you know, some problems, but it'll always be there, and at least, you know, yeah. for 100 years until the cart dies. A lot yeah. of these digital games, they could be here today, gone tomorrow, so... Basically, like, what we're playing right now, <clears throat> you know, until they release a single player, or if they do local multiplayer, you can't even play this game. If you don't have some connectivity. So, yeah, I think we've talked about that before, though. About, like, what if servers go down for all these multi multiplayer-only games that we love or, you know, that we do play. And even games like Call of Duty that we play, when, when that server goes down and you can no longer do it, you know, you're only stuck with, well, those at least do local. So, I mean, I guess a game like maybe... This is probably the best example I can think of. What was that game that was on uh, the PS3 that could support, like, 50-some players? Like, uh, Grid um, or... Yeah, I don't Shit, remember. Shit, I forget what it's called. Like, that's the a game that's dead frozen? and gone. The servers are down. Yeah, the game crapped out. Oh. Yeah, mine's still just frozen. So, yeah, that's something that we're already kind of dealing with. But, I mean, we've talked about that before. So, next up... Uh, the Atari box, after all this time, finally, some info has come out on it. Long story short, it runs off an AMD chip. It's going to have apps to go online and do Netflix and shit like that. It's going to come preloaded with Atari games. It doesn't say how many or which ones. And they say that they can play like mid-range Steam games. But AAA shit you won't be able to play. So in a lot of ways, long story short, it's a three hundred dollar low end Steam machine. Yay! Sounds like a deal. So, so Bry, judging by that rousing thing of applause you have, um, oh, he's saying the game was mag. That's what it was. Um, that was that gigantic multiplayer game. 
Uh, but yeah, so the Atari box, any interest, Bri? Not none whatsoever. I mean, honestly, I'm at the point. <clears throat> I I basically am at the point where I'm. Oh shit! I gotta rebroadcast us on Twitch. Give me one second. Do do do. Sorry, everyone. Uh, obviously, as you saw, this game just shit it out, which is one of the problems with this game. But we're gonna go ahead and get right back into it. Um, we back. We back it. Yeah, we're back. So, as right. far as the Atari box, like, I honestly will not try any new system until I absolutely see it's foolproof or it makes sense. What was that system that, uh, I know I'm going to say it wrong, like the Ouija or you, you know, you know Ouya. what I'm trying to say? Ouya. The Ouya. Like, I don't, I thought that thing looked interesting, then it fucking went nowhere. If it ain't a PlayStation, if it ain't an Xbox, or hell, even a Nintendo console, I ain't gonna get it. Jim and I always said, like, yeah, one of these days we'll probably just get better PCs. I don't ever think I'm gonna have a PC just be my main console for games that come out on regular consoles. I'll always be a regular console person. Um, doesn't mean there aren't some exclusive PC titles on one, but fuck Atari Box. Fuck all these other things are trying to come out reinvent the wheel be interesting because you know what's going to happen even if a system comes out and is the steam machine or you know is the console version of your pc <clears throat> give it two or three years xbox or ps will be like hey guess what now you can do steam on this it, it, it'll be a matter of time so it's like bide your time unless you're really hardcore and can't wait but don't waste your goddamn money on an atari box like You'll probably just regret it. Oh, yeah. So, a funny about thing you? about the Atari box is... Oh, no. I have no interest at all. I'm more interested in the Retron 77, just because I can plug my carts into it, and I think it's only going to be, like, 80-some bucks, probably less, hopefully. So... I thought I heard the... Yeah. Well, here's the deal. You need to fucking get the Retron I have, you know, and make your goddamn games useful. Not this goddamn Retron 77. Ridiculous. What? What ridiculous? Fucking, I need to see my Atari games in HD. Motherfucker, you're going to have I enough do. other games you get. You have to review. You do not have time to be dicking around with goddamn River Raid. <laughs> but, actually, speaking of River Raid, there's a nice little uh, mobile app of it I have now. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Nice and free! But, um, yeah, so a funny thing. <laughs> Still waiting to play games with my dick. I think that's Chris in the chat as a Monarch fan. But, yeah, so um, I'm on the uh, Atari Age Facebook group. And so they talk about the Atari box a lot on there. And we're going back and forth. And I said, oh, it's an uh, underpowered steam machine. Pass. And this one guy, this guy, Michael Thackett. I don't care about names. Wait, what, he just started spurging out name? on me. Michael Thackett. T H A C K E T. Thackett. Okay. I won't even so, say the comment, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that might be a little questionable. But um, so he just like started going off on everyone who had anything bad to say about it at all. He was like he was white knighting this thing, and it's like I don't understand why you're gonna white knight something that A, you don't know what games are gonna be on it. B, you don't even know if it's going to fully come out. Oh, by the way, it's an Indiegogo. So, it's not like <laughs> you even have enough confidence in itself to come out with the console itself on their own money. They want people to pay for it so they don't lose anything on it. Also, besides the fact one of the guys behind the Kamigo Chameleon is also spearheading this. So, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of shady dealings and a lot of dirt that doesn't give me a lot of confidence in this Atari box deal. No. But the fact that there's just, like, it's that fanboyism bullshit where, like, I don't understand how you can be so... And he made this gigantic thread where he got torched. He just got torched by people who were like, dude, calm down, maybe take a knee on this one. And he just refused to yeah. until he, like, deleted it and started blocking people, like, left and right. So what <laughs> what games is it? It'll just do Steam games, you said? It's going to come preloaded with Atari games, and it's going to have be able to play low-end Steam games. So I guess a lot of the, like, indie retro games or maybe 
it's supposed to be able to play fucking Minecraft and Terraria, which every other console in the world can do at this point. Yeah. Like, there's nothing about it that's setting it apart from anyone else, really. Or, like, there's no reason outside of, you know, saying, oh, I bought the newest Atari console to ever get it. Yeah. I, I'm going to ask so, this. To me, it just seems like a question. waste of money. But was the last Atari console the Jaguar? Uh, the last official one was the Jaguar, yeah. Besides all these okay. licensed uh, flashbacks. So there you go. That's what you fucking... Like, let, let's put it this Atari. way. there There's a reason Atari died. There's a reason the company... Like, it was ran terribly. The Tremels fucking... They pissed off every developer in the book. Atari as we know it. it it's dead. It's gone. Be happy to get your Naruto and Dragon Ball games when you get them. Oh, what the... F <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you dirty, bad, <laughs> pink bastard. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Just sitting back with your little dicky in your hand. Maybe. But yeah, like it, it, along the same lines of like why Sega isn't in the console market anymore. Like they made too many bad decisions. The name recognition kind of isn't there anymore. Kinda. Well, yeah. I mean, Sega's around, and there's still a lot of love for it, but. It's not strong enough that it'll ever... God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, dreamers. It's just too easy. <laughs> God. I know it's just too easy, Brian. I know. What the fuck? I'm stuck in the... God. Um, yeah. Uh, I... I... I, one, I'm pissed that you didn't tell me that you got white knighted by some, someone. Cause you oh, I mean, this just happened like two days ago. <laughs> We're we not going to play Ring Around the Goddamn Rosie. <laughs> oh, for fuck. Ring around my fucking dick hole. <laughs> no! Come on, kill it. Oh, god damn it! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, the goddamn rage. Oh, I have no energy. Oh, no. Um, Alright, so what's in our topic? Because I know you had a couple more on there. <laughs> Stark ass says he had to reboot, and he's right about that. All right, here's one, and another more recent one. IGN gives Star Fox 2 on the Super NES Mini Classic a 5 out of 10 for outdated graphics, outdated control schemes. God, son, <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and just a lot of stuff where... Like, basically, the guy was reviewing it by 2017 standards and not for, uh, what do you call it, the 1995, when it was supposed to come out, standards. So, yeah. what do you think about that? Um, I mean, it's kind of like me and you. I mean, me and you, I think, tend to be a little bit more fair uh, about how you should review a game. But, you know... How serious do you fucking take those review review boards? That's my question. Like, is it worth getting upset because you didn't review your favorite game the right way? You know what I'm saying? But, Brian, this is the internet. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, I mean, you can. Just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. What, like, touching myself with a can of mayonnaise? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're no fun. But, I mean, but there's, like, there's two sides of the argument, though, really, because there's some people who are like, you know, this guy's being ridiculous, how can he review a game like this so, like, you know, one-sidedly, and then mm -hmm. there's some people out there who are saying there's an argument to be made that the timeless games are going to be timeless no matter what age they are, 
and maybe the game just isn't as good. Yeah. Like, maybe people are giving it too much of a pass because, you know, it's 95 or... I swear to fucking Christ. <laughs> I mean, me and you have talked about this how many times. I think you give some games way too many passes. Uh, I will say, for the Super NES, I don't think that particular game aged very well. Like, it's still playable. Like, there's people who say Star Fox is, like, an unplayable piece of crap it, at this point. Absolutely playable. I mean, I shouldn't say absolutely. It's definitely playable, but at the same time... Yeah, the graphics, you know, they don't hold up at all. Now, should you say a game sucks because of the graphics? Obviously, no. But, you know, can you be critical of them? Sure. Yeah, and I agree about that. Like, there are some games, like, I think... Like, I think saying the graphics don't hold up is a stupid argument for... Especially a game like that in 95, where... If you look at it, the game looks freaking amazing for a Super NES. Like, it's really pushing... What the Super NES fully could do. Yeah. So I think if you but, come out that, like... Yeah, but that's how me and you do it. Like, we'll consider a game based on its actual current shit, not anything else, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I just, like, saw this, and I was reading through the article, and it was just like, really? Like, I want to know... I am interested in, like, say, the age or the perspective of the guy doing it. Oh, shit, oh, I didn't on. even see you there. Come on, come on, get it, get it, kill the bitch, kill the bitch. Oh, oh you thank got God. me. Oh, I, thank God. I thought you left out the front door. That's why I even came out there. <laughs> Jim, you almost lasted as long as me. <laughs> All right, so one person's like, possibly the uh, article, the review was paid for, or... Um, yeah, but here's the deal. If the review's going to be paid for, I have, you know, anytime I've seen a re- paid-for review... It's always like it's a shiny, favorable. It, yeah, it's it's a it's a sloppy blowjob. It's like yeah, it was great, but yeah, <laughs> no. I mean, paid for reviews are the most ridiculous thing. Like if you are paid by your company to do just massive general reviews by everyone, sure. But if you're paid for directly by the company, of course you're not going to dick. Why are you going to shit on the people that feed you? So. I, I don't even get mad at reviewers who do that. Like, that's their way of making money. But don't get upset. Like, don't take that shit serious. You know, ING, a lot of those things, they can't give out 9s and 10s enough. They're like fucking free handies for, for video games. Me and you are stingy as shit, and people are still like, how can you give 7 or 8? You know, it is what it is. <laughs> how, how we've never given a game an actual 9? Yeah, no games broken. Well, no, I th- still think. Did it break the nine? One of the Mortal Kombat's. I thought one of the Mortal Kombat <clears throat> broke the nine. Uh, no, nah, I think Stick of Truth way, and we're super um, tough Mortal on. Kombat two or eight point nines. Because I mean that it's and it's all in the way you want to fucking judge stuff. I don't believe anything is a friggin' perfect ten. No matter, even if when we give our overall score, which is our personal. We've given out, me and you have doled out some 10s for games we love. But, you know, when you take an honest look at a game, it's like, yeah, maybe that's not an actual perfect 10 game. No such thing. Right. Everything has a flaw. But, yeah, I mean, you look no, at... I, yeah, I mean, Sky, IGN throws out 10s like fucking hotcakes, but... Whatever. I mean, I, mean I, I don't take <laughs> IGN seriously at this point anymore. Like, ever. I don't no. go to them. But, like, yeah. I saw... Like, the big, like, uproar about it. So I figured, oh, I'll check out this review. And yeah, like, in my opinion, it was a shit review. Sure. But there are legitimate arguments you could say for it to be a 5 out of 10 game. Maybe just didn't like it. Yeah. I think the problem is there's no company that's big enough that you could fully take serious. Like, I feel like, you know, if you want to take a game serious, yeah, or if you want to be a legit reviewer, you're going to have to you know, be a little biased. And if you're starting a website and you love retro games. Yeah, um, there's no such thing as, like, an unbiased review or, like, that's the whole basis of it. It's, you're going to have a bias no matter what. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. 
Yeah, to me, it just seems silly. But especially for people to get so butthurt about... Oh, you get... <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> All right, Jim, how about this? I'll give you a chance. How? To how did... How? I'll count to ten. Go. One. I hate you. Two, I fucking hate you. Three, I fucking hate you. Four. Five. Put in the goddamn six, trap house. Oh, oh now I'm hurt. Oh, this eight, is just going so goddamn nine, well. Ten. Here I come. Where are you? Oh, you Wait. Damn. Sensibility. I found you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, did you? You know what? I'll even tell you. I'm going to kill you on the bird bath. So it's all the way over here. You're going to break free a few times. But that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're going to break free, Such I promise you. Such a piece you. of shit. People's favorite part of this podcast video is going to be watching you just <laughs> dick around with me. Just fucking... To oh, great. And now I'm at the bird bath. Come here, buddy. No. Oh, Christ. Just goddamn. Uh, why am I even trying? Always, why am I trying to I've escape? Always, I've always wanted to get How this did you kill. find me so fit? <laughs> I'm glad I could give this to you, Bri. Ready? Ready for it? Well, just wait. Wait, Jim. Wait. 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 There it is. Oh. Ooh. Oh. What happened to your body? Oh, God. God, that is just... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Jim, I'm, I told I, you. I'm trying to get you... How the fuck did you find me so goddamn fast? I mean, what did I say at the beginning when you first got on, when I was doing the COD thing? They don't call me the Mr. Perfect of gaming for no reason, Jim. Oh, If I had a piece of gum, I would throw it up in the air and smack it. If I had a towel, I'd fucking throw it over my shoulder. I don't. <sighs> you were bird-brained. You see that? <laughs> well, Brian, there's any other special kills you haven't gotten yet, just let me know. Yeah, sure I mean, uh, hey, we, we, can, we can run the gamut. You know, I'll... I'll gladly give you a few head starts if I find you like that that quick. I was I was a gentleman. You can give me that. <sighs> oh, I'll let you run. Oops, <laughs> the trap. <laughs> I, did I not let food. you run? Did you run? Playing with your goddamn food, <laughs> Jim. Just did you run? Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So what else? What else haven't we talked about in a little while? Since it's been a while, you know what? This podcast is gonna be a, is gonna it's gonna be a longer podcast. I'm not cutting it. It's just a little bit of a clusterfuck. Jim, Jim and I haven't been on in a while, so we're, we're catching up to everything. Uh, what else haven't we touched on? Since that's more news and beer, or gaming, or just general life. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go off gaming for a second. All right. And if we want to tie it to gaming, let's do it. Uh, the new It movie. I think that could be a video game. There you go. There's a video game tie-in. What'd you think of it? And Ooh. Let's preface. Let's let's preface this. Uh, with Jim only saw the original it the night before going and see the new one. So. No, I saw it, it a week before. It, yeah, it was fre It was fresh in them. Weekday, suck a dick. You know what I'm saying. God damn. But but yeah, yeah like the um. The original one I saw, and a lot of people were like, oh, it doesn't hold up, it's stupid. I loved it. Like, yeah, I wasn't scared by it, but... I mean, I was really... I got sucked into it. It was I thought it was fucking awesome. Maybe it's because Tim Curry's just that good at what he does. And he's that goddamn entertaining. Uh, he's, but... Yeah, he's a fucking legend. Well, I think the yeah. number one reason people hate it... Oh, not now. No one hated the original, let's put it that way. I think the number one issue people had with the original... Was that the ending and the stop motion spider? You know, because people, God forbid, they pay any respects to stop motion, and they felt like it came out of nowhere. Which, if you never read the novels, you didn't really keep up. You're like, why is this the clown turning into a spider? So, and it's on a TV degree, movie budget. Yeah, that's the thing that people, everyone thinks it's like a theatrical. Re no, it was a fucking TV miniseries. That's why there's no cursing. That's why. It is the way it is. So, I mean, people definitely need to lay off that original. Um, but, yeah. So, getting back to it. What did you think of the remake? I walked out of it going, I liked it. And I did yeah, like I it. I thought it was great. I, 
It took me a little while to get into it, though, to be honest. Really? See, what yeah, I liked like, about I it was right off the bat, it's like, oh, no, the, the, this is rated R. Like, there was no fucking Oh, yeah, around. there is no... I think the first, the thing that, like, threw me off, I guess, a little bit at first, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I did like the movie, but the part with, like, Georgie in the very beginning, I was like, ah, oh, there's gonna be no subtlety to this movie at all. Like, I won't spoil anything for anyone, but, like, if anyone who's seen the movie, they're gonna know what I'm talking about. Like, the movie was just... <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> it definitely was a bit way ridiculous more of a brutal. Story. I don't know, I just look at, like... It was it was more brutal for sure, um, but I don't think that made God it bad just because it wasn't subtle. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not no, saying it's I not also, bad because it wasn't subtle. Like, I got to give that it didn't dude, scare me at all. I know, guess that's what I'm got to say. Bill Scar, well, neither movie ever scared me. Like you know, obviously I'm a horror right. freak, but I yeah. don't know if I was a kid and I saw this new it, I'd probably shit my pants. But it's not meant for kids. Oh. It's meant for all right. of us who grew up with it. So, like, the original movie, the, the parts that scared you most is just seeing his teeth or when he came out of the drain. Like, those were the parts that were really, like, holy hell, this is terrifying. Um, right. You know, in the new movie, you know, that weird painting thing, it, there there were many parts that I'm like, I would the, totally the, the, say, the, like. The painting and the uh, the part with the projector, they were definitely the best parts. You know, I think it yeah. was the biggest killer for me, though. The CG was so goddamn bad. Like, all the CG you know, transformations and monsters. But you know what I will okay. say? So, did you notice the uh, when he would, like, open his eyes and turn them to the side? Yeah. He did that himself. That wasn't CG. Yeah. Ew. Oh, no, so I'm not talking that, about that. I'm talking, like, about the... Um, like the uh, fucking, like the leper or the uh, woman, shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Or like when well, he burst out of the wall and he became giant. Or like, even when he would chase after the kids and he'd be just like, spooky fast motion guy. And like, blah, 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 going after the kids. Yeah. I don't know, I just thought, they could, I thought they could have done that a little better. But, no, I'll give Skarsgård credit. Like, he wasn't per se as entertaining as Tim Curry was. But, you know, who the hell can be? But... Like, his take on it, like, for how they wanted to do the movie, he was perfect for it. And apparently yeah, that sure. weird thing with, like, his smile, like, he did that all himself, too. Like, yeah, it was the way him and his brothers So his smile and his ability to separate his eyes were two things that he did on his own. Ow. Dick. Don't stand <sighs> by a door. Don't be a dick for. What's a dick for? It's for your mother. For coming, silly. Jim, why are you chasing me? Because <sighs> that's the point of the goddamn game. <laughs> but no, overall, um, it's tough because if you're a horror fan like like I am, you know, which one do you like better? Uh, it's going to be a matter of do you mix in nostalgia or do you do you stay honest to yourself about like you know one is a more legit horror. Oh, movie. I mean like. I mean, when it comes to, like, <laughs> what's a better movie, God fucking Christ damn it. When it comes to, like, what is, a, like, a legitimately better movie, like, this is the better movie. Yeah. God damn it, how many doors do I have to break? So <laughs> Jim, you're like Jericho. You keep breaking the wall down. What did Sandy think? She actually wasn't crazy about it. I mean, she grew up loving the first one. Maybe she has too much nostalgia for the first one. No! Get that whore. Kill her. Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, yes. Damn it. Yes. She took you a little bit. Oh, even a special <laughs> one. Oh, um, shit, I'm out yeah. of the chat. I can't see what people are saying. But no, like, I definitely, like... I don't know what I was expecting from it, but I did walk out of it saying that I liked it. Like, she was so scared by the first one when she was a kid that, like, I guess she was yeah. expecting to be scared that badly again. Yeah, most people, you're not going to be terrified anymore. 
Um, unless you just, like I said, if you've never seen the first one, though, this is one of those interesting things. That if you've never seen the first one <clears throat> and you're a kid, <clears throat> first of all, if you, I mean, it's a matter of will your parents let you watch a rated R film like that. But uh, right. I saw some people being critical. I thought one of the strong points was that kid actors were way better. In oh, they were so good. They were so good. And, and, they were amazing, actually. And it's funny because I personally was like, okay, how those kids were talking to each other is how me and my friends talk to each other. And people are like, I don't get it. Like, no one used to say that vulgar shit when you were a kid. I was like, I did. <laughs> bull. Like, I definitely did. I, like, I, I was saying that by third grade. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, I don't buy that. Like, I don't know why people are getting upset by that. And especially, you didn't watch Stranger Things, did you? Not yet. So the kid who plays Richie, you know, the one with the glasses, the most vulgar one, he is, like, the lead in Stranger Things. Um, uh -huh. <clears throat> so I knew he was great. But, yeah, the whole cast just did a great job. Uh, the only part I think I didn't, I, I was like, I, I could have lived without... They didn't really need to go as far as they did with the whole Beverly and her dad. Like, the first time they showed it, it was like, we get it. And then they're, they're like... Brian, oh, do you really think a lot of people are mad? Out. Do you think people are mad that they didn't have the uh, underage orgy? Is that where a lot of the hate comes from? Oh. God damn it, Jim. God it's a very pivotal plot know, point in the book, Brian. Jim, I know you were mad. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I want, my, I want my movies to be legit to the book, God damn it. It's all about the art. But yeah, I mean, I, like you said, I, I was surprised how much I liked it. Because, you know, how many times do remakes fuck us over? And do we say, oh, yeah. God damn it. They, so this one, I think, was a well above and beyond what I would have expected. Um, so yeah, I, oh, got, easily. I got nothing bad to say about it. Oh, as far as like remakes and all go, it was easily one of the best remakes of, of all time, really. Yeah. So now it's starting to beg the question of what what remakes will they do next? Uh, you know, he actually talked about Salem's Lot or The Stand. Um, Salem's Lot is one of my favorite, like, vampire things in general. But it's so goddamn long. And, you know, that would be a pretty goddamn badass remake if they decide to go that way. Right. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Actually, I mean, I'm excited to see what they do with the second half, because in the original, it, the yeah. part with just the adults only was definitely the weaker part overall. So, I want to see... It kind of sucks that Mike, that character, has nothing to do now, since they gave like yeah. the uh, the historical guy to... Uh, fat to the, the, the fat one, yeah. Because he was already the artist, now he's got to be the historical guy, too. So, the black guy's oh, just the black guy. Yeah. Do you, Brian, do you think they'll go with uh, normal? Do you think they'll go with normal? Uh, well, what the fuck? Really? Really? <laughs> how? Just goddamn how? <laughs> Just a fucking Hi, goddamn bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> Why are you mad? You know why. Jim, Jim what'd I do? <clears throat> I didn't find I you right did. away. You found me found me soon enough. <laughs> God, just uh... the fucking... Uh, any special area I should go to, Bri, for one of your goddamn... Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Gotcha. <laughs> God. Break, go, break! Jim. Just for you. Oh, right in the, right in the chest. Alright, uh, here's actually a good one from a uh, Monarch fan. Saying, did we talk about Nintendo and YouTube? So did you see the uh, the email that went out to YouTube partners for Nintendo? No. So you know the program that Nintendo has with YouTubers so that like they don't flag your shit and stuff like that? Be part of the yeah, creator it's like, program. Hey, give, a, give us your money and you can use our videos. That's the one. So they mm -hmm. apparently, maybe two days ago, sent out a new one that said, um, we're updating, blah, blah, blah. From now on, on your channel, you can't, if you want to be in the program, you can't stream, like, any games. 
Not just Nintendo I mean, games. You I... can't stream any games in general. What? Mm-hmm. You mean on YouTube? Right. Or or are they saying for like Twitch too? No, I think just YouTube, but I'm not 100% sure because... I mean, I saw the email, but I didn't go crazy into it. Fuck that. Like, hey, dude, if you guys don't want extra money, cool. Like, you ain't got to get it. But that's some bullshit. Like, that is, uh, that's dirty. And I don't get why they would do that. Um, don't stream any other games. What the hell could be the... I mean, I could see, like, them saying, like... If you want to be partners with us, you can only stream Nintendo games. But are you saying they're saying you can't even stream that? From what I heard, they're saying you can't stream anything. Because that makes zero sense. Like, I... Like, apparently, like, doing it in a Let's Play format, it's still okay. But straight up just streaming a game You know what? Actually, no. I I probably, 1,000% would say it's probably because of the PewDiePie thing. And they don't... I was about to say, do you think it's because of that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I ju- that just came like so for sure. They're like, okay, the b- fucking biggest YouTuber of the world. Uh, if somebody happens to be streaming the new Mario game and and pulls a similar stunt, we don't want the Associated Press. Um, I think that's super overreactive, and you know, I they're just gonna stop their partners, but. Honestly, if you're someone who wants to stream, then you just go to Twitch or do something else. Um, overall, yeah, I mean, though, it's... Like I, said, I think that's fucking nuts. I'm do, shocked. do you dare say it's cutting off your nose to spite your face? Which Nintendo does all the time, and they're still successful despite themselves in a lot of ways at this point. I mean, but, but... that shit... They, they'll always have good games, sure, but like... You know, they're not... I They have a shelf life, like everything else. And as things more and more keep moving forward in the future, and, and you know, gamers want what they want, and you want to stream, you want to do this, you want to do that, like, okay, like, you just won't have any Nintendo shit, and you're just going to have to live with that. So, I don't know. I think, uh... I obviously think it's a terrible move by Nintendo, but I'm not shocked by them. It's not something that, like... I'm going to be like, oh man, how could they ever do that? Like, yeah, it's fucking Nintendo. They're going to do stupid shit all the time. The smartest thing they ever did was make the Switch fully portable. Like, if it wasn't for that, it probably would have been a flop. The only reason I want one is because of the fact that you're playing real games on a portable console. Yeah. But even that is like, eh, you need more games than just Zelda. (laughs) <laughs> sorry Zelda fan. Well, I mean, sorry Zelda f- fanboys like you you need more games than just Zelda if you want to get past your just hardcore fans which there's still going to be a ton but I feel like you know the generation that is still hardcore Nintendo is us and like you know probably it's people slightly older than us and they're sharing with their kid that's cool and all but the next generation nah they ain't, they ain't going to be having it do you think Nintendo will almost turn into, like, what it is for a lot of people with Atari now, where there will be fans of it because it's introduced to them by their parents, but, like, getting yes. new gamers invested in it won't be, like, that won't oh, be the way sure. that they, like, like, no one's going to go flocking like, to Nintendo. Exactly. I, I don't see that happening <clears throat> anymore. I think, you know, it's going to take a time, but... I just I don't know. I, I I think it will happen. Which is kinda crazy to think about too. Cause just because oh, yeah. of how ubiquitous like Nintendo is with video gaming. Yeah, I mean it's not gonna be a quick thing. It's gonna be a few generations and as long as they keep pumping out Mario and fucking Zelda, you know, <clears throat> it's gonna be popular. Get off me, bitch. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you and your goddamn knife. Oh, right. I got caught in my own trap. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Oh, I got caught in my own trap. Oh, Jim, you <laughs> fell into a victory again. Oh, you son uh, of a bitch. I needed that. You fell into it again, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> um, but no, I mean, Nintendo is... Like, you know how, like, people more and more, no matter how you feel about them, PewDiePie keeps doing stupid things. And people, like, you know... Yes. I, I don't know your opinions about them, <clears throat> but you can't be shocked by the shit he does. And with Nintendo, with these practices, you can't be shocked. They're only going to get worse. They're only going to keep making stupider rules. They're going to keep isolating themselves. They're always going to be a generation behind other systems. And they're going to ride on the coattails of their favorite first-person games. <clears throat> which, more power to them. If they can go to fucking 2050, still playing the 50th Mario and Zelda game... And, you know, now you can watch grass grow. Cool. But <laughs> I, I mean, I just, that, that I think will have a shelf life like everything else. Um, and as we've said before, gaming in general, it's going to get more and more less about the actual peripheral and more about the digital, you know, VR is going to be the thing. So it, it's going to be very interesting, but uh, yeah, I'm not shocked. That's a. Stupid thing. So it's a good thing me and you aren't partners with you with uh, Nintendo. Yeah, and even if we were, I we'd probably be backing out of it because, I mean, we've done oh, a sure. lot, and I mean a lot of Nintendo videos. But if we were not like we're we're not big, we're probably most likely not going to be big anytime soon. So it's it doesn't affect us one way or the other. <clears throat> Jimmy, go ahead, hit start. God damn it. Ah, God. <laughs> Jim, you fell into a victory there. <laughs> <laughs> that I did. Don't be mad because I have escaped she, tonight. Monarch says grass grow simulator. And you know what? That's. I mean, I, mean, I it, bought. I basically bought my Wii U to play Breath of the Wild. And I got like 12 hours into it. And then I stopped playing and moved on to other stuff. It's a great yeah. game, but I mean, I don't know. But like, it has a shelf I, life. I had to move on. It has a shelf life, yeah. I mean, I've I found that like Zelda is one of those interesting games. If you like Zelda, you don't just like it; you fucking love it. You're gonna marry it. Like that is your world. I very rarely find people who are casual Zelda fans. Like plenty of games, like Mario. Everyone's played Mario, but I feel like if you played Zelda, you're either like, eh, it's okay. Or Zelda's life. You know, you're going to name your kid Link and shit. Like, it's going to be insane. Right. I I don't know. I, I've told you I've played enough Zelda games, and they're all great games. But I play them once or twice, and I'm done. Like, I, I really do like them, and I'm not taking anything away. But I never come back to them. So, that's right. just how I am. And you're pretty much the same way. Like, you've played, you've beaten the original, you've played Ocarina of Time, you've played... More than me, but yeah. How many times do you have a hankering to play? I mean, Ocarina of Time, I played the ever living dick out of when I was a kid. But this day and age, I I have no desire to go back. I have no desire to go back to it. Like I played it, I done did it. You know? Yeah. And like Majora's Mask, I only played through once. It was a good game, but. Like, it wasn't like I was like, oh, God, Majora. Let me yeah. get back into that shit. Again, these are these are perfectly fine games. They're fun, but... I don't know, I guess... I don't know if it's... A, oh, oh, Christ. Oh, f really? God damn it, really? <laughs> hey, Jim. How? Hey, Jim, just ready just for this? how? You oh, actually ran wow. right into me. How did you not see I know. me there? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just don't know. Well, I'll tell you right now, yeah. when I blew the power, you kind of stopped talking for a second. So I was like, okay, I must be close. And I was walking towards the guy. <laughs> there, then I, I tried, turned around. I tried just, to no-sell it. You're just... I tried to no-sell it. <laughs> you know I'm what? not Fuck quite that. the AWA you just Legion robbed me of a. You just robbed me of a longer Jason, so I'm playing as Jason again. You need to step up your fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> you Fine son of me. a bitch. Damn. Hey, I'm level 9 now. 
Yeah, see, you're getting you're getting points. You know, I'll even give you a good. You know, we'll start a game. I have to go piss, and then I'll come back and see if I can find you. <laughs> Ooh, I also I'll want to grab another beer. I'll ask six minutes now instead of two. All right, so go ahead, hit start. All right, I'm gonna go piss, <sighs> grab a beer, see how you do. So you just uh, ramble on about something. <laughs> All right, I'll ramble about shit. All right, so let's ch check in with the chat here. So Snarkass is saying he still needs to play Breath of the Wild. I say play it. It's a great game. If you can get your hands on a system that can play it, uh, it's definitely, I'll say it's a must-have title. It's just running a website and having so many other games, I couldn't, I couldn't dedicate the time that was necessary to just playing straight up that. Again, fantastic game. It's Zelda and Skyrim world. It's that kind of feel. Uh, the f the feeling of climbing th up everything, the climbing mechanic really sets it apart because and the gliding, because it's actually fun for once to just explore everything. But after a while, yeah, that only takes you so far. I don't think it's boring. I'm not one of the guys who said, "Oh, it's just boring." Like, no, it's not boring. It's not empty. There's plenty of shit to do. But if you can get your hands on it, fucking play it. Uh, Monarch was saying she's starting to, she just started getting into Zelda, and, I mean, if you're getting into it, there's a shitload of good titles, so, it's not like you're gonna have a hard time figuring out, you know, you're not gonna have a hard time finding stuff to play, or experiences to have, or all that kind of shit. Enjoy yourself with it, let yourself get sucked into the world. It's a good world to be in, it's not something I go out of my way to play, but it's perfectly fine. Hold on one second. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. I was just responding to I don't hear you. chat. I was going to say, I don't hear you rambling. I was rambling, goddamn. All, right. All right, guys. I'm uh, now drinking the Kona Brewing Longboard Island Lager. <sighs> Fourth beer of the night. <clears throat> I'll even give you a little bit extra time, Jim. Yay. Not just gonna do anything for me. Carry on my way with some. Anything good in the chat? Um let's see, uh Miss Monarch saying she's gotta pick up a GameCube. Uh she's just getting into the Legend of Zelda series, so talk about how I mean if it's something you're just getting into, there's a shitload of stuff you can play. There's a lot of options for you. Oh, yeah. For sure. And that's the thing, is, like, I actually want to be involved in that. Like, I want to get really into it, but, man, I feel like I... Just like we've said how many times, like, I just don't got the time to, like, now invest in all the Zelda games. Yeah, that's what I was saying. What happened to me with Breath of the Wild? Like, I don't have the time to fully go through that world it's a huge world it's yeah. fucking it's zelda in skyrim land basically which is awesome but you know i have to move on to other shit yeah you must get well speaking of laugh. speaking of shit this might be my uh this might be my last one last game yeah did i find chambers Think I did. What are you doing shit? What? I said, what are you doing shit? I don't know what you're talking about. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Oh, god damn it, I put out the fucking things! God damn it! Oh, I gotta find a special place for you, Jim. Oh, god, such a fucking Run, bitch. rabbit, run. Oh, God damn it, don't run into the fire, stupid. Oh, that's a perfect one. Come here, I gotta take you to the fire. Stop running. No. No. Ah, oh, come on, how did I not hit you? God damn it. <laughs> I can't hold on to my stick. 
gonna get you to that fire, boy. Here, I'm just delaying the inevitable. Come on. <laughs> oh, boy. See the goddamn fire <laughs> the kill. Fi oh. Got her. Ooh, that was nasty. That's brutal. Damn. Still wiggling. <laughs> oh, shit. Apparently, Monarchs fan's been someone else the whole time. I thought it was my friend Kristen on uh, Twitter, but apparently it's a guy, so oops. <laughs> That's about right for Jim. Yeah, it's about my luck. Sorry about that. Alright, so you gotta go take a dump? Yeah, I gotta go take a poopy duke, so I guess that's as good a time as any to wrap this up. Alright, guys. Well, obviously, if you've been listening to us on Twitch this whole time, we really appreciate it. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you. We are back. We're gonna get more frequent. And as I said, for October, look for videos from both Jim and I. Obviously, for me, horror, Jim the Coleco. We really appreciate it. Leave us comments. If there's topics you'd like for us to talk about, Send us, you know, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, any means that you can get a hold of us. We'll respond in some way. Yep, definitely. Thanks again, guys. Thanks to everyone who came out. Thanks to everyone who stayed in the chat and hanging out with us. Really appreciate it. So until next time, guys, cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs>